love to kind of take a twist on something traditional, something that I normally eat on the holidays and kind of give it my Korean flair. And I see whiskey. Are we cooking with that? We're adding the whiskey to the rub. I love the whiskey in the gochujang rub because it gives this like slight smoky, almost like spicy flavor. I'm excited to taste that because we have so far baked with the whiskey. We mm -hmm. made blondies earlier. We have also done cocktails with the whiskey, mm -hmm. but um, I'm so excited to taste it in a savory context. So Eric, the prime rib, you want to make sure you take it out like a couple hours before you're going to actually cook it because yeah. you want it to come to room temperature so it cooks very evenly. Nice. Also, when you take it out, you want to salt it at that point too so it gets its base seasoning because like the inside of the meat, you can't really season. So we have already salted this yes. and peppered it. Yes. And at this point, we're going to make the rub. Yum. Starting with the whiskey. Yeah. So we just want to add like two tablespoons of this. The balvenie gives this really rich, like spicy, almost smoky flavor to the rub, which I love so much. And then we add some gochujang. This is fermented, so it gives that like really like depth of flavor. And then a tablespoon of brown sugar, garlic, and lots of it. Yeah, it's right? a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of garlic. It's familiar. But that garlic flavor is like so amazing on the rib. And then ginger. Classic combination. Yeah, food. very classic. And then to round it out, sesame mm -hmm. oil. I love that you said round it out. Yes, That's because it's sesame, sesame oil. Sesame oil is so important. So important. It's like everything in like Korean food. Yeah. I think people like to say like, oh, little goes a long way. Not for me. <laughs> like a lot goes a, lot, a long way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to add a lot of sesame oil to everything. You want to taste this? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. I taste the whiskey. I love right? that. <laughs> the whiskey is so important here. That tastes so great. Right? I'm, I'm so excited to have it on the rib. This is beautiful. Yeah. The consistency just like pours on perfectly. Yes. So we're going to reserve like a quarter of the sauce to glaze it later on. Right. So when you're finishing this in the oven, we're going to like continuously glaze it and get it like nice and like nice. crispy and oh, roasty. Amazing. And this is sitting on a bed of onions, I see. Yes. And I, I think the onions are super important in this. Not everyone has a roasting rack inside their roasting pan. So that kind of serves as that lift. So it's not sitting directly on the pan. Nice. Also the flavor of the onion kind of like perfumes the beef and just gives it this like aromatic deliciousness. Yeah. And then I like to add a cup of beef stock on the bottom yeah. just for security because we don't want anything to like burn or nice. get like too like dark that. on the bottom. And now this is going to an oven? How yes. hot is the oven? We're reverse searing. So we're going to do 250 for about three, four hours. You want to constantly check it after like three hours. Look at Your that. baby. It looks gorgeous. It's amazing. What do you think? I love it. So now we're going to transfer it. Yes. Be gentle. Okay, I will. Got it. Ooh, look at that. It's that amazing. It looks gorgeous. Incredible. You want to remove the onions okay. into a little bowl. Right, right, right. So at this point, we're going to make our gravy. When this starts bubbling, you're going to add some flour. Flour, okay. Mm -hmm. And then cook off the flour, then we'll um, add the broth to make nice. like a thick gravy. And we want to work out all the lumps and get it like nice and thick. Um, I like to use a spoon and see check the consistency. Yeah. Like I like my gravy like kind of thick, but still a little bit loose. Yeah. Since it's prime rib as well. Is right? that called nappe? <laughs> I know that word, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> it means like uh, coat the spoon and you put your finger through and then it like stays, okay. right? Thick and beautiful. How are we doing here? Taste. Taste it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yum. More salt. <laughs> <laughs> we like our salt. Yeah, I do. Okay. Hey. Shrink. Yes. Lovely. So I'm really glad you're doing the carving. <laughs> Show me your chef skills. It's what? not that hard. It's not that hard. There's two ways to do this. 
I sometimes like to go like just straight down the mm. bone, like right in the center of the bone, and that way everyone gets like a huge <laughs> chunky piece. Yeah. That's because I'm like greedy and I want like a lot of prime rib. But, but of course, if you're serving more than like four, um, if you're serving like six to eight, then mm. you want to slice it pretty thin. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Okay. Yeah. All right, so at this point, we're going to take off the bones first. Uh -huh. It would just be a lot easier to slice. Your knife should be able to just like follow. Oh my oh, god. Smells so good, right? And of course, oh, this, you want to like cut up and eat it. Yeah. Because that's... Nimble on it. Yeah. Chef's treat. At this point, you want to go as thick or thin as you want. So I'm going to just kind of go like medium. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful crust. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked all the way through. Really nice good. and pink. Yeah. Now we're ready to plate and we can finally eat this. Yes. Yes. We want to go for first. I guess like the prime rib, right? right? Yeah. It's I've been the star. Going. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna serve you one. Yes. And it's oh. gonna be so good with the whiskey. Oh dang, it's so juicy. I can't believe I get to eat prime rib. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wow. Mm. Mm. You get that glaze. The honey kind of vanilla notes of the whiskey work really well with the meat and the marinade and kind of these other flavors you've balanced here. It's yeah, and I feel like it pairs really well with these cream bold flavors. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's the whole point of putting the Balvini in the glaze because it complements, yeah. you know, having a drink with your meal. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers. Always cheers.